Good books, good times. <laughs> Any war that you have seen on TV in the last 20 years, we have had a kid from that region. It's hard hearing that a kid saw their neighbor's house bomb or seen a massacre of their entire village. But it also speaks to the resilience of the human spirit, especially that in kids. Which word in the sentence is the noun? Person, place, thing, or idea? A person. When I come to this, I didn't know how to read. So the first year I came here, I learned how to read and write. The audience. When I came here, like, I thought it was going to be the same, so I was just ready, like, to get bullied. It was so different, like, everything was not so hard on me. So when I don't understand anything, I go to a teacher. They help me out. And I didn't understand nothing because, you know, the teacher kept talking and he asked me a question. No, I don't even understand the question. It would be like if I sent you to China. And I said, all right, you're getting one or two hours of support in extra Mandarin a day. The rest of the time, you're in college level classes in Mandarin. It cannot function that way. How do you make that? <laughs> you use watercolor to make it, and you also add a sponge or napkin. Uh -huh. And I really like how you made this, and it's organic. So we start off with six boys and a teacher in a church basement and have grown to 90 kids in our Atlanta campus and 42 kids here in Columbus. Coach, let's be careful here, okay? Because she's standing up. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I had started a soccer team for refugee boys and after practice, the boys would ask for help with their homework. I was working with this kid, Lewis. Let's go, line up. And uh, he was like, coach, I have a headache. Can you read to me? Second day, he was like, coach, I have a headache. Can you read to me? Did the same thing. By the third day, I was like, you know what, Lewis, I have a headache. And then he looks up at me and says, coach, I can't read. And it shook me. Um, He'd been in the country for three years and couldn't read. One, two. I really love coaching. I really love the kids and the connection. That used to be me. It's very hard to move to a new country and try to adapt to it. Because a lot of people think it's easy to learn the language, to understand, and it's so hard. It's difficult. Um, it's a difficult transition to do something that your family has never done. And to see a student stand up, graduating, being the first in their family to finish high school, proud of who they are, grateful for being here, and doing what their parents never thought would be possible. It's, graduation is probably one of our most powerful experiences. So we are going to do the Fuji's Creed. He just gave me a fence. I take, I take pride, pride in the Fuji's Academy. He just gave me a soccer team. You just give me a chance to learn. I would argue that refugees and immigrants are the most American. They are the most patriotic because here's a country that has taken them in to protect them. And I would say that in no other part of the world could a school like this exist.